Hello there, it's Dr. Nick from the Wildlife Health Centre at Toronto Zoo. Uh, the preconception that I want to break down for you today is this idea that we are just a reactive veterinary department. Um, we're called the Wildlife Health Team for a reason and we work out of this amazing building, this Wildlife Health and Sciences Centre, because we do three things. We're not just reacting to animals that get sick under our care here at the zoo. The first is uh, we practice zoological medicine and some of it's reactive, but really what we're trying to do is to be preventive. So we do things um, to prevent disease. We give vaccinations, we feed animals in the right way so that they don't develop nutritional deficiencies and the like. And we have uh, a lot of knowledge now about how to care for wild animals under human care. So that's the first thing, uh, best practice zoological medicine. The second is about translating all of that knowledge and science um, for the best possible conservation impact. So we can do things now like breed wild animals under human care like Eastern Massasaga rattlesnakes um, because we know all about the kind of diseases that afflict them and then reintroduce them to the wild in the most successful way. Um, and we can do clever intricate surgery for example to put radio transmitters into them so that when we do reintroduce them if anything does befall them we can track them down and find out what went wrong and do it better next time. So that's the second bit, that's the, the science and research piece to maximise conservation impact. And the third and final piece is all about training. Uh, we want to transfer our skills and our knowledge to other wildlife health professionals working in places around the world where they have high levels of biodiversity uh, but where disease is having a big impact. And we can see at the moment we have this incredible outbreak of bird flu, not just in domestic poultry, but all across wild birds all around the globe, including Antarctica now. So we want to use some of those skills to try and mitigate some of those risks. So that's wildlife health. It's not just veterinary services. And I hope the next time you're at Toronto Zoo, you'll come and see us working here in the Wildlife Health and Science Centre doing some zoological medicine. Thanks.